Hello everybody. Can you see me? Hello. My name is Mrs JR and I work in Griffithstown Nursery and you're going to come to nursery soon aren't you? So I thought I'd come and say hello and I'd tell you a little bit about our nursery. Now I'm not in nursery at the moment am I? I'm at home in my house because nursery isn't open. The school is closed. We've all had to stay at home haven't we? to stay safe and well and it's not quite time for school to open up yet but I wanted to show you what it's going to look like so that when you come to nursery in September that's quite a long time now but in September you know who everybody is you know what nursery looks like and I've told you all about it and I've got lots of things to tell mummy and daddy as well so first of all we need to meet who you're going to see in nursery now i'm mrs jr okay and i'm the teacher and i usually wear something like this okay this is my uniform i've got all my dangly lanyards on here that the children always like and my little badges on them to be able to see those and i'm in nursery every day so i'll see you and i'll be the person who does all the stories with you and the songs and lots of things so you're going to see me all the time so i'm mrs jr and i'm really excited to see you when you come to nursery in september now we're going to meet some of the people in our nursery we're going to meet mrs morgan and she's going to be in nursery every morning and we're going to meet miss williams and she's going to be in nursery in the morning as well okay let's say hello to them hi babe my name is Mrs Morgan. I'm really looking forward to meeting all the new boys and girls who will be starting nursery. Until then, I hope you all have a lovely summer and I will see you soon. Bye! Hello, Shamai. I'm Miss Williams and I'm going to be one of the teachers in nursery next year and I can't wait to meet all you boys and girls. I'm so excited to help you learn lots of new and exciting things. Until then, bye! So that's them. Now there will be somebody else in nursery and that's another lady called Mrs Barrett. Okay, so you'll see Mrs Barrett when you come to nursery in September as well. Okay, so they're very excited to see you as, as well. Now I would like to show you what nursery looks like because some of you might have been to visit before but most of you haven't and you would have been come to visit if school was open and I would have shown you everywhere and you would have got a chance to have a look. But we can't do that at the moment, so I've got some photos to show you and I'll tell you all about the places that we're looking at. Is that okay? Let's have a look. Okay, so let's have a look around nursery. This, first of all, is our outside area because we love to play outside. We play outside even when it's raining because part of our outside area has got a roof so we can stay dry. But let's show you all of it. So in this photograph, you can see some of the building site and we've got a kitchen and we've got um, lots of things to play with. Let's have a look, we've got a climbing frame. We've got an arch to climb over. We've got some stepping stones and things to drive. We've also got a little garden where we like to grow things. It's very small, but we've got some pots and, and containers that we can grow things in. And we've got a stage to sing on and a little house to play in and lots and lots of different toys. So that is our outside area. OK, now when you come into the building, the first place you're going to see is the cloakroom. And the cloakroom is where we keep all our coats and other things that we need to keep. Uh, on our pegs now can you see those pegs there they've all got a little name next to them with a picture and when you come to nursery your name will be on one of those peg pictures so you can remember what your picture is and it'll help you to find your coat so we hang our coats there and we keep them nice and neat and on the board there we put the names of all the people who can put their coats on all by themselves and you will learn to do that when you're in nursery so um, start practicing now if you want to be really clever. OK, a very important place you need to know about is the toilets and the bathroom. Because um, if you need to go to the toilet, you can go straight away 
I'm hoping you'll be able to get your trousers or your skirt and your pants down for yourself so you can have a wee wee. So we've got little toilets specially made for nursery children so you can get on them easily. And uh, you push a button to flush them away and there's paper for you to use. So you can hopefully you can do that all by yourself. And of course, when you've been to the toilet, you're going to need to wash your hands. So here are some of the sinks. We've got Mr. Soapy Soap Machines. You need one squirt of magic soap and a big rub with the water from the taps to get your hands clean. OK, so that's the bathroom and you need to know what that looks like. Now, let's have a look in the nursery classroom. So I've taken a few photos here so you can see. So in this first one, um, it looks a little bit different now. I've changed this a bit because we've got our big blocks um, in these drawers so we can build on the carpet with small blocks or our big wooden blocks. Um, can you see the whiteboard? We watch programs on there. We play games. We do lots of learning things on the whiteboard. And over in the corner, um, we've got some iPads, the um, laptops there, but now they're iPads, so you'll be able to play on the iPads. It's our maths area, so there's lots of things for counting uh, and sorting and measuring and things like that. And then we've also got lots of little um, small world toys, so people and animals and cars, lots of things for you to play with and use when you're building your models. Um, in this photograph, there's our dressing up corner. Now, in this photograph, it's a cafe, an ice cream cafe. But when you come to nursery in September, it won't be an ice cream cafe. It's going to change. It's going to be a house, a home corner. So there's going to be a table and chairs so you can cook and eat your dinner, a kitchen, a bedroom, some nice um, furniture so you can sit down and have a chat. So it's going to be like a little house and you're going to have great fun playing in there. Children love our dressing up corner. And of course, there'll be things to wear as well. We like to dress up in costumes. In this photo, you can see our book corner. So it's got lovely lights and a curtain over it. So it's always a nice place to go and sit. We've got comfy chair and a sofa so that you can sit on a nice rug got a little table that we can put things about books on and little games for you to play and a dinosaur book box can you see the dinosaur there he, he carries our books now the big blue chair is for me to sit on that's mrs jr's chair and i sit on there and the nursery children sit on the carpet and we have stories we sing songs and that's where we do register in the morning. So I, I have to tick off your names on a list so I know who is in nursery. And we do that there as well. And I've got a little board there that I can write things on for you. And um, we can learn. So that's the carpet area. In the next photo, this is our creative area. And it's also where we can be a bit more messy because we've got a special floor here that we can wash easily. So you will see two red trays. One of them is the sand tray. One of them is the water tray. So lots of playing goes on in there. We've got a big red table where we do lots of artwork, making pictures, drawing, painting, sticking things, Play-Doh. And then we've got two round tables. One of them is um, a writing area. We can do all sorts of writing there. We've got lots of writing things to use, pens and crayons and felt tip pens. And the other one is our fingers and thumbs table. And that we do lots of activities on there to get our fingers and thumbs strong, ready for writing. So that is our nursery classroom. And I hope you think it looks nice. Can you see all the children's work hanging everywhere? That's what we like to do when you do splendid work. We like to hang it up to show everybody. Now we have some special times in nursery. Every day, a very special time is snack time. And um, these photos now were taken at snack time. So when it's snack time, we all go to the toilet first and we wash our hands and then we come and sit at the tables in groups with a teacher in each group and we eat our fruit. We love to eat fruit in there. She makes us big and strong. Um, so you'd be buying fruit or bringing fruit from home. And we drink our milk or water if you don't like milk. 
um, and we have a little chat. We love snack time. We practice all sorts. We practice our saying please and thank yous and our Welsh and our counting. Oh, all sorts of things we practice at snack time. So um, that's what you'll be doing when you come to nursery. We'll all sit down together and eat our snack. Yeah, so that's a very special time. Now, in nursery, we're very lucky because we have an outside area which we call the forest. And there's lots of beautiful trees and paths and places to play. So we can put our coats and our wellies on and go to the forest and have a lovely time in the forest. We always have great adventures there. So we'll be doing that, not straight away when you come to nursery, but after a few weeks when we're all settled in, we'll be going down to the forest and that's very exciting. And then the other place you need to know about really is our hall. Now, I expect you've got a hall in your house. It's where you come in through the front door. But this hall is not. It's a big, big, big room where everybody in the school can fit in if we need to, if we need to do shows or assemblies. But we mostly use it for our PE lessons. Um, we go in the smaller part of the hall and we shut the big doors so we've got a nice space all to ourselves. And we can do running and jumping and making shapes with our body and dancing. And in this photograph, um, I think we're driving along on our bottoms, it looks like. But it's a nice big open space with not much furniture in there, so we're not going to bump. Um, and that's another place that we go to have a special time. OK? I hope you like looking at those pictures. Do you think it looks nice? Do you think nursery looks like a nice place to be? It really is. And we're going to have lots of really good fun when you come. So um, those are the photographs, those are the people. So now you know a little bit what it's going to look like, don't you? And you can get ready and think about what it's going to be like. Now, I've got lots of things to tell your mummies and daddies. So you can probably go and have a play now because all these things are all the things they need to know and they'll tell you all about it. OK, so I will see you when you come to nursery in September. So have a lovely summer. Watch this video as much as you like. And if mummy and daddy have got anything they want to ask me, they can always send me a message, okay? And I'm going to tell them how to do that. All right, so I'm going to say bye to you now and then I'm going to talk to your mum and dad. Okay, bye. Right, mums and dads. I got loads to tell you. I've got it on notes. I'm really sorry. But if I miss anything or you're not sure, um, I'm going to give you my Twitter address and then you can always ask me on there. OK, is that all right? So, um, oh, our normal session times, you know, it's, we really don't know what September is going to look like at the moment. Hopefully we'll be as close to normal as we can get. OK, I'll tell you what normal looks like and then we'll tell you anything that might be different. So our normal session times are from morning nursery is 10 past nine till 11.40. OK, and uh, nursery is one till 3 30 so those are our normal times we'll keep you posted on what that's going to look like um again what we normally do is we stagger the first week so that we, we don't have everybody in together <sighs> again i don't know what it's going to look like ideally i think we'll try and do it in a week if we can so day one and day two we'd ask that the new ones come from only from half past nine. So we're going to get all the ones who've been in Rising Threes that we're used to the nursery. They'll come at 10 past nine as normal. But then newbies, we'd ask you to come at half past nine. One, per well, normally one person. I'm going to say first day because nobody's had a chance to look round or do a visit. You could bring more than one person. If mum and dad want to come or if uh, mum and nan want to come, whatever. It could be one person, it could be two people. Come and have a little visit, have a little stay. Um, I'm recommending you stay till 11 o'clock. So it's going to give them an hour and a half. They're going to get to play everywhere. And then they're going to get to go before we do all the tidying up stuff that they're not going to like so much. OK, so that's what we normally do. So day one and day two, I would say that. So morning children, perhaps from half past nine till 11, a shorter time. Afternoon ones, the new ones from quarter past one till quarter to three. OK. The, what, the children who've been in Rising Threes Nursery will be there when you get here. So, because um, they're just used to everything. So you'll do a shorter session. 
okay on day three and four hopefully i'd like the new ones to attend from 9 30 till 11 or from 1 15 to 2 45 so an hour and a half for both of them on their own okay we'll try that again this is ideal we'll try that we'll see how it goes okay um i'm hoping they're going to be really happy in there content to come in if they're not Perhaps you could stay with them for a little while and then we'll perhaps distract them a bit and you can nip off for 10 minutes, come back. As long as they know you're going to come back and they get used to that fact, they should be fine. And then hopefully we'll try on the fifth day to have everybody in for the full session and we'll see how that goes. Again, I don't know what the arrangements are for September. That could change depending on lots of things. We will keep you informed, but that's what, that's what ideal would look like. Um, for these sessions, we are going to have to ask you to use the East View entrance. There are two entrances to the school. The main one is Florence Place, and that is where the staff car park is. Most people come down through the main gates, and it's also where the reception is. If you need to pick anybody up or bring anybody late or ask for anything, that's where the secretary is. And that's the Florence Place entrance. But that won't be open when you bring your children to nursery for these reduced sessions because once the rest of the school are in, we're, we go into lockdown and the gates are closed except for the one on Florence Place. So what we need to, you to do is come through East View, which is the next street down. We have a bottom entrance there. The gates there will be unlocked specially on these days for you to come in early. We'll unlock them sort of five minutes before you need to come in. So then you just come up to the nursery. It's the nearest gate for the nursery. So you come straight up to nursery, stay in for a couple of days. Others, when you're leaving them, you go out through East View and then it locks down again. It's all for security for your children. So it's a bit of a faddle sometimes, but it is important. So when you're dropping off or picking up on those special visiting days, when it's a different time to everybody else, you're going to have to come through East View. OK, after that, morning nursery you can come in any entrance when you drop children off because you'll be coming in at the same time as everybody else but when you pick up before lunch you will have to come through east view similarly afternoon people you have to drop off at east view because the rest of the school is still inside and it'll be open specially and then you can pick up coming in any exit because the rest of the school will be leaving then as well okay you'll soon get used to it it sounds badly but it's fine so that's my first note right clothes um, uniform is um, good we think we like the uniform it's not statutory at this age it's up to you we just find it practical because everybody looks the same they know it's their school clothes um, it, it, they do look so grown up and cute in them so we would ask that they wear uniform um, now our uniform is, I'll see if I can put a photo here. If I can, I'll put a little photo on the side. I think I've got some. Um, so for girls, it is either dark trousers, dark skirt, dark pinafore dress, dark grey, really, not black, dark grey. And then um, a pale blue polo shirt or blouse and a navy blue cardigan. In the summer, we wear a blue and white check dress. You've got the option of that. They can wear skirts and things like that. Uh, in the winter, grey tights and then black shoes. OK. Um, all the supermarkets stock our uniform colours, so it's not a problem. If you want the Griffiths Down badge, the only place you're going to get that is from Pretty Miss in Cumbrack. It's round the corner from McDonald's near Papa John's. Um, and they stock all the uh, labelled things so the girls have the cardigan and also you can get the polo shirt with the badge on you don't need them but if you want them that's where they're for boys dark trousers dark grey trousers dark grey shorts um, the pale blue polo shirt again and a blue jumper with or without the logo a uh, navy blue jumper with or without the logo they also do things like caps and um, book bags and things you won't necessarily need a book bag while they're in nursery but they sell them there they're very good very helpful so that's where you can get the the badges um for pe 
I don't know what when we'll be doing PE. We wouldn't be doing it from the start of the year anyway. We'll have a few give you a few weeks' notice. The uniform for that is black daps or trainers, ideally the ones with velcro on, because they do uh, have to learn to do those themselves. Then either black shorts, if it's warm enough, or black joggers, that's more usual, and a t-shirt. Now to start with, I don't mind any t-shirt, eventually once you're enrolled and once you start in nursery the children will be allocated into one of our school houses we have four school houses and they'll be in that team all the way through school and they get things like behavior points and uh, merits and sports day rewards so once they're into their house they'll stay in that house forever i don't know what they're going to be in until they start once they know which house they're in we would like them to wear a t-shirt in their house color Okay, so I'll either be green, red, blue or yellow. But we'll tell you that in plenty of time. And to be honest, if they've got another colour, I don't mind. But it is nice to do what the rest of the school do. So I'll let you know about that. Um, they're going to need a change of clothes in a carrier bag, preferably, on their peg. Because, you know, they're going to have toilet accidents. We have accidents where they've drenched themselves in the water tray, even though they've got an apron on, they'll still manage it, or they've got paint on themselves, or something that's so uncomfortable we need to change them, okay? Um, so just to change your clothes on their peg would be really useful. We do have some clothes for emergencies, but they're always more comfortable changing into their own. And I, when I say change, I mean the whole thing. Top. If vest if you want a vest, pants, trousers, skirt, whatever they wear at the bottom, tights and socks. Please don't forget socks. It's amazing how wet they can get and socks get very soggy and there's nothing worse than walking around in soggy socks. So spare socks will be lovely. If we do need to use them, what we'll do is we'll change your child, put the clothes that need to be washed in a bag tie it up hang it on their peg so that when you come to pick them up you're going to see it's there you need to take it home if you could make sure you wash and replace because if they're wet again then the day after there needs to be some in there then uh, or if you borrow any of ours if you could make sure you wash it and bring it back straight away that would be lovely um, now I can't say this enough every single piece of clothing that your child wears needs to have their name on um you think i'm exaggerating i spend half my life in the summer trying to work out whose cardigan is which because they all look exactly the same they all take them off within 10 minutes because they're boiling drop them down and then i've got mum saying well i've only bought it last week but you know i've got 25 to look after i don't know if they haven't got their name in it i can't memorize the cardigans so i need names into everything sew it in write it in whatever you want to do in their shoes, um, in their stuff that's on their peg would be useful, please. Definitely the bag. Um, please just put names on everything and coats as well, obviously. Please check every now and then as well because a couple of washers and the names will be gone. So um, keep checking and writing it in again. We have, we have lots of days in nursery where I, I might ask you to come in in a special colour or dressed as a character. We have parties where we dress up. There's going to be lots of dressing up is what I'm telling you, me and them. So uh, don't be surprised. And the school does mufti days as well. Some people don't know what mufti. They come in and say, what's a mufti day? It's just when, um, it's usually when we're doing it for charity. So so we might ask you to dress up in your own clothes and pay a pound if we're doing like children in need or things like that. Or it might be wearing something funny for a pound. So we do occasionally have musty days like that. But I'll always keep you uh, informed about that. OK, next chapter. Snacks. Um, so, like I said to the children, every day about quarter to 11, we tidy everything away. We're very big on tidying. They will be getting good at tidying. Uh, and then we all go to the toilet together. We, they can go at any time in the morning, but we all go at that time. So I know they've all been. And then wash our hands. We teach them how to wash our hands properly. Very important at the moment. Um, and then we have snack time. So we sit in three groups, one member of staff with each group. It's a lovely little time. Um, and the way that it works is 
they bring in a piece of fruit from home to begin with okay you're gonna have a choice in a bit but to begin with you're gonna to need to bring in a piece of fruit every day it needs to have their name on it which is easy with bananas and oranges less so with apples and strawberries you can put it in a pot with their name on if you like uh, if it's something squashy otherwise we have baskets that we put outside in the morning with the three staff members names on and eventually you'll know who's is in which because i put a list um, you put your child's fruit in there make sure it's got a sticker on it i've got stickers and a pen write the name on it put it in the basket so now we've got three baskets of fruit each with a name on okay Sna uh, snack time if they need to be prepared we will prepare them and they're served on the tables if you're sending in grapes please can i ask they should be in a pot or a bag but they need to be halved or quartered lengthways is that okay um, it takes us a long time to do a lot of grapes and we haven't got the time we need to be with the children so if you're sending in grapes please make sure that you've cut them it's a choking hazard otherwise okay so um, the other thing we can cut apples and things like that that's done in an instant but grapes is a fiddly one so if you're sending grapes make sure they're cut um, so we serve those after they've been in school and they've been all registered the authority will generate a number for you and um, this is the access to our cashless system for paying for anything we pay for this trips anything we pay on this cashless system so once you've been allocated a number it's just a number for your child it's not for anybody else you can access that system and if you wish to you can pay for their fruit online and it goes into an account you need to make sure that account's kept topped up because if it's if there's not enough money in it they won't issue fruit so you need to top that up and then uh, we'll get fruit from the kitchen um, for the people who've paid that way i have to say it's a bit more limited it tends to be either apples oranges bananas or grapes there's not a lot of variety um, so if, as long as that's fine with you and you want to pay on the cashless system you've got that option otherwise bring fruit in yourselves and um i think most people last year did that um they prefer to do that you can do more variety then and you know what they're getting so um that's snack time i think i've told you all about that yeah that's a nice little time you know we like to sit and have a little chat and we do lots of stuff counting colors please and thank you lots of welsh we do at snack time so that is a nice time so they will need to be able to sit down about 10 minutes really 10 to 15 minutes to do that um toileting um we're hopeful that they can use the toilet if there's a medical need a medical reason that they um, are still in nappies um, we will need to know about it if there isn't a medical need but you've just not quite cracked that um potty training yet we will if it's we don't mind accidents we know that that's going to happen nobody minds that and they've got change clothes on their peg it's fine and that'll improve if it's happening very regularly what we need to do is refer you perhaps to school nurse to get some support health visitor and uh, really push on with that toilet training because we need them to be toilet trained in nursery really we, we you know we've not got the time or the manpower to be constantly changing children so try and work on that over the summer if it's still a problem because um we will we will need that to happen quite quickly okay um, contact forms you won't be able to leave them in nursery without we have a contact form for them it's a legal requirement the authority requires it we need to be able to contact you now this form is quite detailed it's um, lots of details about um, where you live your doctor surgery things like that uh, but the most important thing from my point of view is that we get some contacts for you so there's two boxes and really it's not enough in those two boxes if you can give me more than two contacts that's excellent if i need to contact you in a hurry who should i ring and where and try and put them in the order that i should try them so it, you know you might your phone might be out of battery or you might not get a signal but then i could i've got somebody else i can try and hopefully a couple of people um we need to ring you if for example they've had a fall and they've hurt themselves 
um, if they've just had a fall and graze their knee, we're probably not going to ring you. You'll get a note to the end of the morning and we'll make sure they're okay. We always ring if they have any sort of bump to the head. Even if they're absolutely fine, if they've had a bump to the head, we will ring you. A courtesy call just to say, to let you know, they've had a bump to the head, they seem to be absolutely fine, we've sat them down for five minutes, we're keeping them under observation, they seem fine, but it's up to you. If you want to come and see, if you want to come and talk to them and make sure they're fine, um, that's okay, but we will always contact you. Obviously, if they're injured, God forbid, but if they trip and they've got a lump on their head, we are going to say, please, can you come and take them home? Because they're going to need to be watched. If they're going to start falling asleep or getting dizzy, we need them to be at home. My dog's just making a noise now. Ignore her. Um, it also asks, oh, contact numbers. Make sure you remember which numbers you've given us and if you change your phone, please come into the office straight away or if anybody on that list changes their phone, come and tell us. You'd be amazed how many phone numbers I've tried in the past when it's been an emergency. and uh, I can try four numbers before I actually get to somebody because people have forgotten to tell us. They go, oh, I haven't got my phone anymore. Let us know, we need it. Um, it also asks you about things like allergies. We need to know about any allergies. Uh, medical conditions that will affect them in nursery. Uh, if you've got any concerns about their development or their learning or their abilities or their movement or their speech, that's the place to write it down. Uh, and it'll also ask you if they can have milk. Okay, we have milk every day in nursery, it's free. Um, we will provide water for the ones that don't like milk. Uh, if they just don't like it, I'm going to ask you if I can give it a try with them because you might be surprised. Um, but if they're not able to have water, uh, milk, we need to know about that, don't we? They can ask us for water at any time. We will always be able to give them a drink. But um, a lot of the children like to bring in their own water bottle, which we keep in a box in the um, cloakroom so they've got access to it all the time. Obviously, it needs to be labelled or well, definitely needs to be labelled with a name, but make sure your child knows which one's theirs, okay? It also asks you if we are permitted to use your children's photos on social media. Mainly that is on Twitter because um, I do tweet and I'll tell you about that in a bit more in a minute. Um, so I need permission to, if I can share photos of your child on there. And if you don't want me to, I shall make every effort to make sure I never do, okay? Um, but mostly it's fine and also we take lots of photographs to put around the classroom so I don't need to ask your permission for that because that's just an internal thing but um, I will need permission if your child is going to um, have their photo on Twitter okay I think that's that right next one tooth brushing uh, we follow the design to smile scheme which is a authority wide scheme uh, they provide all the materials and the training and what happens is every day usually after snack we won't be doing this from day one we have to teach them about this and get up to speed a little bit but every day after snack they will have their own toothbrush um, which is always theirs is kept in a holder with their name on it uh, it's uh, cleaned and sterilized every day it's kept in sterile conditions they have a, a minute amount of a special toothpaste that doesn't make foam and we teach them how to brush their teeth. We sing songs, we show them how to do it. I've got big model teeth that we show the way the brush, mark, brush strokes go. And generally speaking, they absolutely love it. We need your permission for this. We won't do it unless we've got permission. Um, I honestly can't see any downside in this. You know, it's an extra bit of keeping their teeth clean. Uh, they do it with their peers. I've never come across a child that didn't want to do it. So. If you're fine with that, you need to make sure you sign the permission form and then we'll, they'll be able to join in from day one. Uh, it's very clean. We're inspected regularly on um, hygiene and methodology and everything. So don't be worried about that. They're never going to use anybody else's toothbrush. They're replaced the instant they touch a surface or get dropped on the floor. They're in the bin and replaced. And as they say, they're cleaned every day. Um, it's a good scheme. It's quite time consuming to begin with, but they love it and it works well and they learn to brush teeth. So um, the other thing they offer is a fluoride treatment, which I think they do once a year, but it could be twice. 
and we need permission for that as well and what happens on that day is the ladies come in they coat their teeth it's like an orangey flavor paste and they just sort of wipe it on with a cotton ball bud thing and it you don't brush their teeth then for the rest of the day and it kind of coats the teeth and protects them it's fluoride and it protects the teeth it's quite expensive to have it done privately but the scheme provides it for free so we will need there's two forms that look almost identical one for toothbrushing one for fluoride so you'll be getting those at some point right leaving nursery this is crucial um we'll show you which door you drop off at uh, the way you come in you help your child take their coat off in the cloakroom and then you hand them to us okay and we've got them and then you leave out of that door when you come to pick them up it's a separate door it's only a few yards away but it's a separate door so we ask the parents to wait outside at closing time I will open the fire door and if you could come in one at a time I will call across to the carpet to so the other member, members of the staff who are there I'll call across who I need we have to train the children to keep sitting down until they're called because we let them go one at a time it's the safest way we can make sure they've gone with the right people excuse me <coughs> so we'll call your child's name and they will come to you you'll come into nursery it's like a one-way system come in meet after the cloakroom get the things get ready and out through the cloakroom door so it's like a one-way system through the classroom okay um now there's a really important thing about this we need to know who is coming to pick up your child okay obviously we will meet you to begin with we'll know the people who we've met um, but if you plan for anyone else to be regularly picking up your child from nursery, it might be nanny, bampy, friend, we will need to meet them with you, okay? You'll need to introduce them to us. We need to know who they are. We'll keep a note. We'll very, very quickly get to know them. We're quite good at this. You know, we've done it a while now. Uh, and we quickly get to know various nannies and bampies. But, and here is the big but, if somebody comes to pick them up, on their own and I haven't met them before and I haven't had a phone call to say I won't let them go okay I won't I'm not just going to let them go with anybody who rocks up and says I'm so and so even if that even if your child runs to them flings their arms around them and says oh it's uncle so and so or auntie so and so I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to let them leave unless you've told me in advance that that will happen or in case of an emergency and this can happen you can get stuck in traffic your car can break down something can happen and you have to ring a relative or a friend and say can you go and pick them up from nursery i understand that but we will need a phone call to the office to say that that's happening and somebody's going to come they may give you a password okay a code word that you'll need to give to us okay and in that case we will let them go failing that I will ring if somebody rocks up and we don't know about it I will be ringing you to check okay and your child won't be allowed to go you know nobody's going to be cross they're just going to be told oh we've just got to check with mum and dad and we will ring and I have to do this sometimes and I can't take people's words for it I'm sure you understand I need to know for definite I will not let a child go unless I know who they're going with is that okay so um they've got to be over 18 you can't send big brothers and sisters up to get them unless they're over 18 okay i can't let them go with them with a child so um it would need to be somebody else an adult as well who comes for them um park sensibly on behalf of mr blackburn please you know if you're coming in a car it's a very crowded very crowded site uh, you won't be able to get your car on site you'll be in the little roads outside so I would park your car well away and walk if I was you. Um, okay. Twitter. Um, if you want to ask me any questions, you can direct message me or tweet on Twitter. Um, my Twitter address is at lowercase r underscore Mrs. J or lowercase. Okay. Um, at the moment, I'm putting quite a lot of um, videos out for the children. Uh, in my class at the moment on Twitter we're having like uh, three times weekly little sessions little lessons so if you want to let your child watch them at least you'll they can find out about my singing is um, family support we we pride ourselves on having a really brilliant relationship with parents and families that's 
one of my favourite parts of the job, really, because I think when you send your three-year-old to nursery, you've got to really trust us and you've got to really know us and trust that we are going to do the best for your child. So it's really important to have a, a fantastic relationship with parents. Um, please, if you need to speak to me, just ask. We, we have the luxury of seeing you twice a day, every day. So if there's anything that's worrying you, ask me. I might say, can you just wait 10 minutes till I get everybody out? I might say, can you come back tomorrow because I've got a meeting, but I will want to know you know if you've got a problem there's something you want to ask if um there's something you want to tell us so you know we've got that communication going on um so you'll see us at parents consultations two or three times a year but you don't need to wait for that because we see you most days so again if there's a if there's a worry i'll call you if you've got a worry you can see me so that's that's absolutely written in stone um, we will be pestering you on a regular basis for things that we need. I'll put notes on the board outside if we need things like, what have we asked for this year? Boxes to build with, tubes. Um, sometimes I'm really cheeky and I say if anybody could afford to buy us a bag of rice or something for the tactile tray. Our budgets have been slashed. We get so little money every year to spend on our class that... I have to rely on people's kindness and fundraising. We do two major fundraisers a year. We do um, our Christmas concert, we have a Christmas sing-along, where you pay a little entry fee and we have a big raffle with very good prices. Uh, and then in the summer, normally, we do a sponsored sing-a-thon, which we won't have done this year because there are no nurseries, so we're, our coffers are going to be quite empty. So that's how we pay for things like all the lovely stuff they play with play-doh flour salt cream of tartar we make a lot of play-doh we don't get any money for it um rice to the tactile tray like i said uh new paper we can sometimes get but if anybody's got a supply of paper that's always useful i do order some but it's seldom enough because we get through loads anything you can offer us if you ask me i'll be really really grateful um, yeah, so we will be pasturing you for stuff, you can believe it. I'll do nursery newsletters sometimes with important dates um, and reminders, things like trips. We usually do two trips a year. We go to Clearwell Cave, see Santa. I love it. And in the summer, usually we go to the beach. Not this year, but usually. So we'll have trips, um, events like we have a sports day. That We have a separate sports day for the rest of the school. We have a nursery sports day usually not this year and our graduation ceremony at the end of the year again gone for a bit in this year but still um so i'll try i'll do my very best to let you know about dates you should have letters it will be on the board i will tweet it if you still don't get any of that i honestly don't know what i can do i do have parents come say i didn't know about that you didn't tell me well You've had a letter, I've tweeted it, and it's been on the board. So really, I did tell you, I can't tell everybody individually, I'll do my best. So keep your eyes open, lots happening, I'll try and keep you posted. Okay, right, I think that might be it. I've said about Twitter, I think that's everything. If you've got any uh, anything else that you want to know, please tweet. Send me a message, um, I'll try and answer anything you want to know. It's a really confusing time. I wish I could tell you this is exactly what's going to happen when we come back in September. At the moment, I don't. I don't know if all children will be coming back. I don't know if they'll be coming back every day. I honestly don't know. As soon as we know, we'll let you know. But we are looking forward to meeting you all. It's so sad that we haven't had a chance to meet lots of you until now and that you haven't had a chance to look around. I hope this helps. I hope they like looking at the pictures and seeing what nursery looks like and seeing what we look like um, and I really hope they're excited for September so I'm going to say bye now but please get in contact if there's anything else you need to know okay thanks a lot then bye